Let's try this example to design a brace and non slender column bending in the major axis. The concrete strength is given as 25 Newton per mm square. The steel grade is 500 Newton per mm square. The exposure class is XC1. Fire resistance 1 hour. Design life 50 years. And the size of the columns is 250 times 300 mm. It is given that the effective length of the columns is 4.2 meter. And assume that the bar size is 20 mm and the shearling is 6 mm. The column here is subjected to an angular load of 1200 kN. There will be moment bending at the major axis as indicated here 35 kN meter and 25 kN meter. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solutions. To solve these questions, you may refer to the formula given here for the short columns for you to compute the MED which the MED is substituted into the equation here and the NED given in the questions is substituted into the equation here refers to the design chart of the column for you to determine the amount of reinforcement bar for the columns a spreadsheet is used to help me to do the calculations here the column is braced, it is not slender, and there is a bending at its major axis. Concrete strength 25, steel strength 500, exposure class XC1, fire resistance 1 hour, design life 50 years. The size of the columns is given here, 300 and 250 for the H and B respectively. And the effective length is 4.2 meter. The bar size is set as 20 mm and the length is 6 mm. The column is subjected to an angular load of 1200 kN and the bending moments of 35 and 25 kN meter. First, you determine the concrete cover of the columns. This is the formula to determine the nominal cover of the concrete which constitutes of C min and also the allowance for the construction deviations. This allowance for the deviations will be equal to 10 mm and the C min will be governed by the bar size exposure class and also a minimum of 10 mm. The R size is defined as 20 mm as given in the questions. As for the exposure class, you need to refer to table 4.4 n. It is given that the exposure class is XC1 refers to table 4.4 n structural class S4 Exposure class XC1 The C minimum for durability will be 15 Nm With that, the C mean will be Maximum of 20, 15 and 10 The largest value is the bar size which is 20 This gives you the nominal cover of 20 plus 10 which is equals to 30 as calculated here next you need to determine the MED the MED should be the maximum of M02 and the M min M02 will be the largest or M02 or the M01 in the questions here the moment acting on the columns are 35 and 25 kN meter. The bigger value is selected. For you to determine the M02, 
it will be the n plus ned times ei the ei for the imperfections eccentricity is given by the effective length divided by 400 as given in this formula substitute the effective length which is given in this questions as 4.2 meter into the formulas of EI you get eccentricity of 10.5 mm M02 will be the summations of the M plus N times EI the NED here is the Asia loops generated by the upper story which is 1200 kN Next, you need to determine the M mean. The M mean is given by this formula, which is the Asia force times the E node, where the formulas of E nodes is given here as a function of H divided by 30, and the E nodes needs to be greater than 20 mm. The H here is referring to the column height which is in the directions of the bending moment 300 mm. Substitute the value into the formulas. The E naught need to be at least greater than 20 mm. You will get E naught equals to 20 mm. From here by multiplying E0 with the NED, you get M min. Now your MED will be the bigger value of M02 and also M min, which is the bigger value of this and this. Therefore, your MED is equals to 47.6. Now that you have obtained the MED with a given NED, you can substitute both value into the equations here as this represents the y-axis of the chart while this represents the x-axis of the chart but before that you will need to determine which chart is to be used first you need to determine d2 per h ratio where the D ratio here is determined by the concrete cover plus the size of the link plus the diameter of the bar divided by 2. It is actually determined the positions of the reinforcement bar from the top of the column. It is found that the D per H ratio is 0.153. You may refer to the chart for the D per H of 0.15 as given here. When you substitute the value of NED and MED into the equations here, you get these two values. Refers to the chart here, the Y axis NED per BHFCK is equals to about 6.4 you can draw a horizontal line here when the m per bh square fck is about 0 0.8 something you can draw a vertical line here the intersections here represent the solutions for the calculated bar areas of the columns it is calculated as about 0 0.352 as is fall in between the line of 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 for the ASFYK per BHFCK with the known value of this you know the grade of the steel you know the sections of the column and you also know the strength of the concrete the only thing which is unknown is the AS. 
substitute all the norm value into the equations and move the equations to the opposite side and left behind will be the AS required based on the calculations the AS required it will be 1320 mn square you will need to prepare 4 units of y20 bar plus another 2 unit of y12 to have the AS provided to be greater than the AS required Next, you will need to check for the AS mean based on this formula. Substitute the value of NED and FYK. You will get the AS mean and this AS mean needs to be greater than 0.002 area of the columns. The areas of the columns is determined by multiplying the B and H of the columns. These are the AS mean that you obtain. And your provided area is greater than the AS mean. Therefore, the amount of reinforcement bar is satisfactory. Next, you will need to also determine the maximum bar area based on the formula here. Dividing the AS provided with the areas of the concrete, you obtain 0 0.01977, which is about 2% of the concrete area. It is less than the 4% of the concrete area. Therefore, we know that AX maximum is not exceeded. Next, we need to determine the maximum spacing of the links as well as the bar diameter of the links. The bar diameter of the links should be one quarter of the bar size of the main reinforcement bar. The size of the main reinforcement bar will be 20. 1 per 4 of 20, it will be 5 mm. The bar diameter needs to be at least greater than 6 mm. Therefore, you may provide 6 mm link for the column. As for the maximum spacing, it is determined by this formula. 20 times the bar diameter or B or H or 400. The smallest value of all is obtained. In this case, the maximum bar spacing is governed by the B of the columns, which is 250. And it is noted that the spacing for the link near the lapping regions need to be multiplied with 0 0.6. Multiplying this with 0 0.6, you get 150. With that, you can provide the link throughout the columns as 250 mm and at the lapping and join 150 mm